Hey guys, Rye Ludwig with Midwest Whitetail. Uh, we're out here in this beautiful clover plot. We got it sprayed not too long ago and it's looking fantastic. And I figured I'd take a second and tell you guys about the uh, different food plot varieties available, why you should plant one versus not planting one based on specific locations and what you're looking for in a food plot. So we'll start off with this clover plot. Uh, this is actually a mix of different clovers that go into this one, which I personally think is the best way to do it. You get a variety of different advantages and disadvantages. Clovers are a little bit different when they say an annual clover sometimes you can get two or three years out of them depending on which type you use like an arrow leaf clover it has a really good seed rate and uh, you can get two or three years off of an annual seed and then you have like a burn steam clover which really doesn't seed itself well and generally you have to replant the next year now there's other ones that are perennials like the ladino and different types of whites and red clovers and these mixes it provides different levels of nutrition different forage levels based on the time of year and a combination of all those can do a wonders for you. Clover's kind of a cool season plant, so it does really well in the spring and fall months. Another thing that you can do, it requires a little bit more maintenance, but alfalfa is another one. Now that does kind of dwell off in the later fall and the winter because the plants get really stemmy and the deer just don't prefer it. But during the, the spring, the summer, Alfalfa can be a great protein source, highly digestible, and deer really seem to enjoy it. So the other advantage of that is you can create some kind of cash off of that by uh, having a farmer farm it, do alfalfa bales, whatever you need to. If you have cows or something like that, you can have the alfalfa bales for yourself as well. So the downside it requires a little more fertilizer, a little more kind of spraying application to keep it really on that higher level. There's a lot of different things you can do for uh, spring, summer, and fall forage, but those universally I think are the best as far as keeping your deer herd healthy and having a good palatable food source throughout the year. Now to add to that, if you're going to do a chicory or an alfalfa, it requires a little bit better drain soil than something. Clover universally can grow just about anywhere. It, it doesn't mind the shade. There's certain strains of clover that don't mind too wet of a soil either. So. There are other options as far as corn, soybeans, sorghum, things like that. That does require a little bit more work, some more spraying, some more fertilizing. And uh, if you're doing small plots like that, you get a lot of browse pressure from deer, depending on where you're setting it up. And fencing, that may be your best option. So I know that's a lot of information when it comes to food plot seed, the different varieties and all that comes with each one. You can really fall down rabbit holes and find yourself reading a ton of information but really the best thing to do is to go out, try what you think is going to be best, learn from it, and build off of it. So food potting comes with a lot of hard work, comes with a lot of trial and error, and you can learn a ton about what the deer prefer on your property just by going out and trying something. So hopefully some of those tips help you guys out and you get that big buck this fall.